So just to get us started, can you tell us a little bit, just kind of the executive summary basically about your business, just to, to bring us into it? So the great thing about uh, Digital Pomegranate was we started about three and a half, four years ago. And we did a, a project, we were doing a project for the World Bank. Okay. And we were looking to um, expand into Gumri. And, which is a city in Armenia. And so the concept was they had basically said that uh, they would invest and build this center in terms of economic development in this city, um, but they needed an anchor tenant. So they had an old university that had been crushed by an earthquake many years ago. Uh, it was really, the city was in really, really bad shape. I think 35,000 people had died literally in a couple of hours. And so they were trying to rebuild the city and they needed someone to go. There was literally only two people in the entire city of 100,000 people that knew how to code. And so we basically agreed. We were going to do it. We were going to go there and we were going to teach people how to code. The problem was they needed the app mobile and desktop. Right. And then I essentially said, so how am I going to teach people this? Yeah, yeah. There's no way from scratch. Yeah. You know, and so what we did was we did the research, we looked at all kinds of different platforms, and we basically found Live Code and we decided to do Live Code. And that was really the genesis of, of Digital Pomegranate. We built Digital Pomegranate, the core is Live Code. That's amazing, that's really awesome. So, going back to the very start of your business, what you, you, you went out to Armenia, what took you? Why did you choose Armenia? Did you My wife was Armenia. Yeah, your wife was Armenia. Yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Remember that okay. one. And what what drove you to start a, a business? I mean, what was what was the motivation for you personally? It was a mix of everything. It was you know part of it was getting is it was a World Bank project. Yeah. So it was a mix of business, but it was like a, a social responsibility aspect. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we mixed the two things, and we could actually choose. I think um, there was like four companies. Costa Rica, another one was uh, uh, Cambodia and, and South Africa, and Armenia was another one. I think the average income in the city we're located is about 180, 180 US dollars a month wow. income. Yeah. So it was very impoverished. And so, um, so, but I went there, not CSR was part of it, just to be able to come in and try to help and make a difference. Because I had had a large, successful companies over a number of years, so I wanted to do something different, and I wanted just to to build some pride in their in their city and their community. Sure, yeah, no, that sounds like a really, really. But I also wanted to be focused on profit. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't just like a nonprofit. We wanted to focus and create a real startup company. Yeah, yeah. So talk to me about the World Bank piece. I mean, was that uh, did you did you pitch for that? Were you aware of that? What sort of got you involved in that? that no, it just they just had a, a like a public, and you know they just had a, a pronouncement. It was a, we had done some financial software, uh, but primarily it was more personal than okay. a particular project. Sure. And then when we saw it was there and it worked out great, it was like this was like the perfect thing. It was it was an app. Yeah, yeah. Um, primarily, um, it was a small app. Sure. But the whole idea was getting the feet on the ground and making it happen. Yeah, yeah. And you know, we had, you know, I had done, I had set up outsource centers in India before, in China, I had been in Tunisia. So I had done, uh, you know, years of development for Airbus, years and years, and a bunch of financial software down on Wall Street. So I knew what I was getting into. Um, all in all, I think it was, it's a really great experience. Sure. But I can tell you that experience fundamentally uh, was made different with Life Code. Yeah, 